Are you interested to know how does the most affordable dragonfly compare with ever-growing competition in this price range? I was really curious to find out. Now, original Dragonfly V1.0 was probably one of the most important ducks in recent history because it was the first one to offer really good audio quality in a small and relatively cheap product. I owned that one a few years back and it was my first dedicated duck ever. And I really liked its powerful and upfront sound. But many ducks came to occupy that same price range in coming years, so now it's time for the cheapest dragonfly to defend its reputation. But let's start from the build quality. It's every bit as great as I remember it to be the first time around. First of all, it's very weighty for its size, and uh, there is this soft touch finish all over it that gives the impression of a premium product you simply don't get with something like very light SMSL idea, for example. And uh, opening it also have a satisfyingly difficult uh, smooth feel to it, and inside you have gold-plated USB connector. Good thing to mention is it works without any drivers. It supports files up to 2496, and to be completely honest, that's all I need for now and any foreseeable future. Why would I the hell care about some insane bit rates, sample rates, or DSD for that matter? when barely anyone really publish music in those formats. Like, in reality, when you really want to listen to the music and not uh, some test tracks, like, probably 99.9% .9 of all music is 2496 HD or less, like CD quality. So, that's why I say give me a real-life qualities over useless spec any day. And that leads us to how it actually performs. Now, I must divide this sound quality impression into two parts. First one is if you're using it with an amplifier, in which case the line out will be triggered. The second one is when you attach headphones. In that case, Dragonfly senses the headphone impedance and switches to its internal headphone amp. So yes, there is a small headphone amp in there. Now, first I connected it to my room system and listened through my amp and speakers, and it provided detailed and er energetic sound. Bass is a little bit emphasized. It's uh, heavy and warm, but it's not controlled that well. So. It can often sound loose, um, especially in bass-heavy songs. Most other ducks I reviewed on my channel uh, can offer better control of the bass region, and that's something difficult to overlook. Going up, mids are clear and clean. Nothing special to praise or criticize there, they're just fine. And highs are again quite clear, airy enough and can provide very nice amount of details, but not as much as Shit Modi 3, for example, that you can see here. Talking about soundstage, it's like decently wide and upfront, but you can't expect to hear much of the stage depth here, it's more of an upfront type of sound. And in isolation, this is a perfectly decent sound quality. But the competition is strong nowadays, and I'll just mention a few of the best of the competition. So, first of all, uh, you can see here Shit Modi 3 I just mentioned earlier. It can provide faster, more precise bass with much greater control. It also offers cleaner and thicker mid-range and more extended highs that are, again, <laughs> cleaner and 
when you put all that together, music through Modi 3 simply sounds wider, you hear more of the tiny details, more of the atmosphere, and your bass notes are better controlled. So you don't just feel like a loud thump, pump, but you also hear exact note and texture better through Modi 3. Um, another example would be FX Audio X6, DAC X6, which is actually cheaper than Dragonfly. And in my opinion, they're in the similar class, but while Dragonfly is more upfront and bassy sounding, FX Audio DAC X6 is a little bit more neutral. You have a little bit faster and uh, more precise bass, a little bit cleaner mids and vocals, which I really appreciate, and similar amount of uh, quality and uh, clearness in, in high frequency range. So between these two, it can be a competition depending on the rest of your system. If you need to make your system sound mus muscly and alive, maybe you like this one more. But in my system, I preferred Duck X6. And uh, there are some other ducks worth mentioning too. For the same amount of money, you can buy SMS LM100, which is again um, more detailed and better controlled than Dragonfly or Topping D30, or my favorite, Kada Stone Board, which can offer level of details and layering and openness of shit modi 3 with muscly weighty sound of dragonfly so it's like all in one but most of these other ducks i mentioned are pure ducks with line out only um, that goes for modi 3 that goes for kada stone board and they're intended to be used with speakers amp or headphones amp. If you connect headphones directly to them, you will not like the results probably. While Dragonfly Black has an integrated headphone amp. And this is where things get interested. And that leads me to the second part of this sound quality talk. Now, when I connect my AKG K92 or Tuckstar Pro 82s to the Dragonfly, for example, these cans, I was seriously amazed by this small thing. First of all, it's more powerful than I expected it to be. It had no trouble driving any of these big cans as loud as my ears could take it. Secondly, it does so with an effortless kick and slam, which make these cans sound more alive and exciting than on most other affordable headphone deck amp combos I tried. Now, I don't know how it would behave with heavier to drive headphones with higher impedance, like Zennheiser's HD600 or something like that. But with these 32 ohm cans, it sounded splendidly, and I preferred it to, let's say, FX Audio Duck X6 or Topping NX4, which both provide better line outs if you want to use them as ducks and connect them to, to amps. But if you want to use duck amp combo by itself, I think Dragonfly is a really, really great choice. And that would be it. If you only need a desktop duck and you're not concerned about portability, then you have much better sounding options out there for the same amount of money. But if you need it for headphones and you want your duck amp to be small and portable, that's when Dragonfly Black is at its best. It's really compact, it doesn't heat much, so it's a perfect device to carry around with your laptop, tablet or phone. And it can deliver great, lively, exciting sound to your headphones. 
So I will be keeping it exactly for that for that kind of use. And uh, as you can see, I'm uh, keeping it attached to my headphones and just like carrying it around with me to improve my laptop sound quality and my smartphones. Thank you for watching and supporting this channel. Have a great day and see you next time.